Climate Now, in collaboration with Copernicus. Hello and welcome to Climate Now, our unique monthly update on what's really happening to our planet. Coming up in the programme, we report on a new proactive effort to keep communities safe from the risk of catastrophic flooding. The next time it floods, all these dead trees are going to start moving and they'll hit bridges, they'll hit buildings and they'll hit houses. First, the latest data from the Copernicus Climate Change Service. It was the warmest November on record, with temperatures almost 0.8 degrees Celsius above the 1981 to 2010 average. Then, here in Europe, the autumn period from September to November was also a record breaker, with temperatures 1.9 degrees above average. Now, climate change is all about long-term trends, and here on this graph we can see data since 1979. And you can see that November 2020 anomaly is part of this overall warming. So what happened in different parts of the world? Well, it was the warmest ever November in Australia. There were reports of heat waves in Malawi and Mozambique. Then in Central Asia, it was a lot colder last month. They had temperatures up to five degrees below average. Zooming in on Europe, it was much warmer in the Alps and Scandinavia. Norway had its joint warmest November on record. And Stockholm in Sweden recorded a new record high for November of 15.1 degrees. Now to our report, and with a warmer planet comes an increased risk of intense storms in some parts of the world, causing flooding and loss of life. However, there's a lot that can be done to be better prepared. And a new project in the south of France is bringing together climate scientists, satellite specialists and local authorities to develop a new proactive approach to limit the impact of flooding. And I went to meet them. These powerful machines are clearing log jams on the river Aude, debris left behind by a deadly storm two years ago. The floods in 2018 were a pivotal moment for local authorities who decided they needed to make their region more resilient to the effects of climate change. We've tried to see how with new tools, satellite images, artificial intelligence, the tools we have at our disposition now, how we can become proactive and get ahead of the game. Being proactive has meant some tough decisions, like evacuating and demolishing these homes at risk of flooding. It's also meant developing new tools with project partners from the French space agency CNES and Copernicus to use artificial intelligence to detect log jams, damaged vines and areas of dangerous runoff in satellite images. There's the after-flooding aspect, the detection of the flood impact zones, for example the log jams and damaged vines, but also we're looking to the future to see what to do and in this project we're looking at five big floods, extreme events starting from 1999 and looking at the satellite images to see what happened and how we can draw lessons for the future. Rainstorms have always hit this region, but climate experts in the project from French weather service Meteo France say the phenomenon is becoming more intense and more frequent as a result of climate change. With a warmer atmosphere, notably a warmer Mediterranean, the storms that develop over the Mediterranean have a lot more water vapour in them because of the temperature, and they can release larger amounts of water during these intense storm events. Back at the riverside, the focus is on taking action now to limit the damage when the storms strike again. The difficulty is that the fact that the flooding happens more and more often means the banks of the rivers and the streams don't have the time to recover. So automatically, the more storm events we have, the more erosion we'll have and the more damage we'll have if we do nothing, if we don't become proactive. Now, that project is currently on a regional scale, but the ultimate goal is to apply the same approach to other communities at risk from flooding all around Europe. You can read more about it on our website, euronews.com slash climate now, and I'll see you next time. Climate Now, in collaboration with Copernicus.